Okay, we should be on. Hello. It's time to play um, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. I don't know anything about this game. And I was going to skip it because it's just a PSP game or whatever. But, um... Patrick said no, it's a Kojima game, part of the, uh, you know, main story, essentially. Uh, so let's play it, and also I'm hoping that after MGS4 it might be a bit more of a traditional Metal Gear game, which would be nice to play, because 3 was a fun game. Um, and so was 1. The area is the 1970s, Big Boss has stationed his army without a nation in Colombia. South America, where he is approached by visitors from Costa Rica, a nation without a military. In the wake of the Cuban Missile Crisis, Latin America became a key became key to maintaining the power balance between East and West. But now, a mysterious armed force threatens to disrupt this balance. To preserve peace and neutrality in Costa Rica, the soldiers without borders move into action. In time, they would come to be known as the founders of Outer Heaven. And as we know from Metal Gear Solid 4... You know what, I don't know anything about what we know from Metal Gear Solid 4. Now let's do tradition and flick through the manual. Because uh, I've got the cheat sheet open here, but it's a full page of controls. Um, which seems like a lot. Uh, zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom in, zoom out. Uh, start the game, yeah, that seems fine. Right, here we go. It looks like a Metal Gear game. We've got a psych gauge. That's like MGS4. Hmm. Psych and life in the bottom corner. We've got a camo index again. Okay. Uh, see now it already it's saying like shooter type action type I don't know what that means so these are the controls that I've got here right god this is going to be a uh, select item that's easy enough Aim, yeah, that's so far so the same. Set weapon, attack, action, crouch, toggle, camera, camera, movie, movie, okay. While aiming, shoot, shoot, reload. I'm also talking about the directional buttons bit there this stuff because that's triangle these are face buttons not directional buttons wait no it's a combo whatever we'll f <laughs> we'll figure it out I guess and then this is action type let's just see where the differences are Reset camera, so similar. Direction button is the camera. Action button. Action buttons. Crouch buttons. CQC. 
on square again. Well, I don't understand. Hunter type? Well, it's all similar enough, right? Like, you can see there's some differences between them. Okay, three different controls. No idea. Uh, should I read a little... Little thing? Lying still. Crouching walk. Standing walk. Crouching run. Run! Standing walk is hard to spot than crouching run. Remember that. That'll be important. Start Master Miller. This is a sneaking mission. Yes. Wall press. Press the action button near a wall. The action button being triangle. Camo index. Avoid combat and don't let these mercs see you. Oh, I thought it would be a whole comic. <laughs> Move cautiously to avoid detection. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, it's on a gauge now. Red, yellow, and such. When the life gauge drops to zero, it's over. Restore by using a recover item or resting in a crouching or lying position. Okay. Psych affects life recovery. Shot accuracy. So keep psych low. Same old, same old. Actually, when did um, MGS4 release date? 2008. Peace Walker. Release date. 2010. So, alright, this will be more, maybe more of a 4 than a 3. We'll see, we'll see. But it's got 4's updated controls, which are better ish. the game and bring your friends on board. Wow. Recover enemies and prisoners and you can put them to work at Mother Base. Use recovered items and weapons. That's like MGS5. That's it. That's the whole manual. All right. Well. All right then. It'll it'll teach us in game. Okay. Let's um. Let's get started. The stream might cut out when I swap from this menu to the in-game stuff because of PS3 weirdness. So uh, let's find out. Are we still on? I don't know. PS3 is working real hard to read the disc. I can hear it. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Right, we're back. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Okay, the, the stream seemed to survive. That's very good. Um, I've not actually done a sound check yet, so I'm just kind of assuming that it's good. Um, if I just go to my channel real quick. And uh, just keep talking. Yeah, there I am. That's fine. Oh, you're going to hear the echo. Oh, stream manager. Go away. Right. Okay. This game saves data automatically. Do not power off the system while HTT. Actually, one thing I want to check real quick. Is that I can't remember if I've got my time frame correct. PSP, not a Vita game. It was a PSP game. Wow. 2010. 
11 years ago. Okay. Whoa. Hello, Patty. Yeah, I, uh, I have, uh, decided to start the game. I got nothing else to do today. Um, so, uh, yeah. So I'm about to get started. Let's go! Let's go. <sighs> I can the the PS3 is working really hard at something. <laughs> Wonder if I could move the mic so you could hear it. Oh, it stopped. Is it broken? Is it meant to take this long? Oh, there we go. Right. I'll go and sit back down. Oh, <laughs> didn't uh, didn't get to read any of that. Something about soldiers without borders probably infringing upon doctors without borders. <clears throat> okay, it's a Metal Gear game. Pressing shoulder buttons, sticks. Nothing seems to be affecting the background. Edit screen display settings until the red lines around the background to fit the screen perfectly. So weirdly, I'm playing this on my new TV um, and I've got the top right and the top left and top, the left and the top borders here unless I do this and then everything's just slightly in. Which is more annoying I think. So I'm just going to check that my, you know like the screen size BS. Oh, that's device info, what does that mean? Uh, you know, the thing where it's like, oh, I've put it on stretch mode or whatever. Make sure I don't have one of them. Where is it, man? Picture format. Original. Fit to screen. Fill screen. Original. Advanced. Okay, I think it's on the right one, so I'm just somehow not got. Well, with this, I, I see all of the red lines, so I guess I have to stick with that one, but I don't know why that's. Um... Sorry about the mic. Maybe it is too close to me. I'm not sure. I haven't changed anything. <clears throat> I'm just going to make you all deal with it. Uh, I think that's probably fine. Let's, let's stay sensible. Okay. I'll go old school. Say Bob. I don't know what this is for. Yeah. Oh! The three types. I, so I was thinking, oh, the game's going to make me switch between three different characters or whatever. But no, it turns out it's just um, three control schemes to choose from. That was very unclear in the manual. In every manual. And just Monster Hunter is in there for some reason. Okay.
sure. Um, uh, okay, so action button, zoom, zoom, crouch. Action button, switch, reload, crouch. Pow, 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 pow. That seems good. But what if... I see that seems bad. And that puts attack on triangle. But no, according to the manual, it is on R1 as well. Secret monster hunter mission somewhere, okay. Do I want three slots? I'll probably get confused. I'll probably get confused if I do that, so. Oh, well, that is. Bob. The year was 1964. The world was firmly in the grip of the Cold War, divided into East and West. One of America's heroes had defected to the Soviet Union. He was known as the boss. And one of the special forces and soldiers said to have led the Allies to victory in World War II. However, the American made miniature nuclear warhead she took with her was used to destroy a Soviet research facility. Davy Crockett. Facing full scale nuclear war, the leaders of the world's superpowers held top secret talks to avert Armageddon. The Soviet Union wanted assurance that this was not the work of Uncle Sam. They wanted America to eliminate one of the most legendary soldiers, the boss. The person assigned to this mission was a closest apprentice, the soldier known as Snake. Snake made the anguish journey into enemy territory, eventually confronting and killing the boss at a fortress called Groznygrad, through the Americans instance they avoided nuclear holocaust. <clears throat> Having saved the world, Snake was hailed a true hero <laughs> and given the title Big Boss, bigger than the boss. Following the award ceremony, however, Snake disappeared. Big sad. F's in the chat. Hideo Kojima game. Looks very good for a PSP game. Wanna go around? 
A tutorial in a Metal Gear game? What the heck? Alright, what do I do? Do I punch him? Yeah, take that. Look alive, ladies! The boss yeah. is gonna join us! Show them how it's done, boss! Ladies, misogynistic your already. In enemy territory is knowing your surroundings. Your life depends on where you are looking and how fast you can identify your target. Therefore, you must first master moving your line of sight. To move your line of sight, use the right stick. Now when I give you an order, look in that direction. Look up. Good. Look mm. down. See, Good. they did some uh You should be familiar with the up and down controls now. Setting your inversion, right? If you're ready to move on. Very good. Okay. Next we'll check your left and right. Look right. Oh. Good. Uh, oh, I looked the wrong way. He said left and right. Oh no, I've ruined I've ruined my controls. Oh god, why would they do that? If you're ready to move on. Why would they do that? No, I want to I want to swap. I want to change. No. <laughs> why would they say we're going to look left and right and then Okay. Okay. Thank goodness. Look right. Look right. There we go. Look left. Why? You should be familiar with the left and right controls now. Press the action button if you're ready to move on. Okay. Oh my god, that was stressful. You can change the controls anytime in options. I could have changed the controls anytime in options. That works best for you. Thanks, I will. Next, I'll explain how to change stances. Why would they say left and right and then like make an you look right first? Enemy? You might as well kill yourself now. Oh God. At times, you will need to get low to avoid detection. You have three stances: stand, crouch, <sighs> and lying down. To change stances, use the crouch button. Tap the crouch button to change between standing and crouching. You can move in either stance. Hold the crouch button and keep it held to lie down. However, you cannot move while you are lying down. I'll say that again. Oh. You cannot move while lying down. Is that clear? That's different. I'm going to crouch. I'm crouching around. I'm standing. Standing around. I'm lying down and I Go. can't move. Lying down and I can't move. Use the left stick to move around. Tilt it a little to walk slowly. Tilt farther to run. Decide which to use based on your situation. Remember that your footsteps are louder when running, making you easier to discover. Be careful! This guy's voice sounds strained. Good! Big boss is a frame like now a barn door. Yeah, he does. Rolling is useful for knocking down enemies in your way and for getting away when surrounded. You can also use it to jump over small ditches and other obstacles. Close to dishes. Tap the crouch button while running. You got that? Tap the crouch button while running! Don't forget it! Okay! Ah, if you hold it down, he just goes into... That's it! Next, I will explain how to attack without gunfire. You may run into an enemy unexpectedly. You may not have a weapon on you. Or you may be out of ammo. You'll still need an effective attack strategy. I need some well sip. Placed strike and the enemy won't know what hit him. To strike an enemy, press the attack button while standing still. On my command, press the attack button repeatedly and take down your opponent. Go. I'm ready, boss. Ready to get punched. <laughs> yeah. Fine work, boss. Next, we're going to practice using the stun rod. Hitting someone with the stun rod will shock them with a million and a half volts. Anyone on the receiving end of that is guaranteed to be out cold. To use the stun rod, press the aim button to ready it, then press the attack button. You'll be glad to know we're using mock stun rods for this training session. When your partner attacks, make him believe it's the real deal. <laughs> Prepare yourself for stun rod training. Okay, Go. man, we're going to role play. I'm ready, boss. Impressive, boss. Impressive acting. Now we'll move on to CQC. CQC, or close quarters. CQC. When engaging an enemy in battle at very close range. 
It is a quick and efficient way of eliminating a threat. There are various CQC techniques. We will go over each of them. Don't get cocky because you think you know them. This will be different from what you're used to. Oh. Pretend you are learning it for the first time. The first technique is throwing your opponent. To do this, position yourself near your opponent and press the attack button while you tilt the left stick. Be sure to press the attack button when the icon appears. Now, wait for my command and throw your opponent. His volume changed there. And it was so distracting I didn't listen to what he said. When the enemy is near, the icon appears. That is incorrect, boss! Oh. Choked him out. There you go. Fine work, boss! Next, I'm going to teach you how to restrain an opponent close to you. This is a cornerstone of CQC. Grab hold of an enemy, and the bastard's life is in your hands. What you do from there is up to you. Just know that if you restrain him for too long, the average person will most likely pass out. Something to keep in mind. Let's begin. To restrain your opponent, hold down the attack button while near them. Restrain your opponent on my command. Go! I'm ready, boss. <sighs> Impressive, boss! Now we will throw your opponent after restraining them. To throw an enemy to the ground, press a direction on the left stick when you have them restrained. Restrain your opponent and throw them on my command. Go! I'm ready, boss. Pow! Fine work, boss! Now we will try CQC against multiple enemy opponents. You can also take out a group of enemies by throwing an opponent you have restrained. First, restrain an opponent by pressing the attack button near them. Then, tilt the left stick to throw them. By tilting the left stick toward other enemies, you can send your captive flying straight into them. On my command, restrain and then throw your opponent. Go! That must be pickups or something, because he sounds different. Boom! Get thrown. Fantastic. Yeah. Again. Go. Again. I'm ready, boss. I'm ready, ready, boss. Boss. Uh. That is incorrect, boss. Fine work, boss. All right. Why don't we do something special since the boss is here? Anyone who feels like getting their ass kicked, step forward. Don't hold back, boss. When you're surrounded by multiple enemies, you'll have to take them on one after the other. To do it, simply press the attack button again while throwing the current enemy. Just be sure to wait for the icon to appear. Go! I'm ready, ready boss. boss. Combos. Fantastic. Again. Yeah. Go. I'm ready, I'm ready boss. boss. Next. Next. Great. Fine work, boss. And stop. no need to tea back. <laughs> That's it for today. Yeah, it's funny though, isn't it? Thank you, boss. Oh, oh, we're all in pain. Snake. Well, it took five games, but we got a tutorial. So, yeah, that's good. Finally, I know how to play the game. <laughs> we rendered. Going on, cause we've got guests. Ah, time to move. As you hear, uh, Miller, it's not our friends from Langley. I brought him, made sure we won't follow. Thank you, Big Boss. Call You're welcome. Snake. Oh, oh, call me Snake. Uh, sorry, Big Boss. What? Listen up for us. 
There is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. This is great. This is classic Metal Gear dialogue. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. It's not how real conversations work. Vic Boss, like Vic Reeves? I don't know. I like these. Here. Ah, uh, thank you. It's like zero. Just eat a banana. You're like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. So, what brings a distinguished oh. scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's Professor University Galvez. Peace. Investor for Peace. And he's got a cool red arm and he's played by Steve Bloom. Over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours, of course. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article 12 of our constitution states that the army as a permanent institution is abolished. The peace constitution. You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? No, no, they it's don't... not going to acknowledge the Red Riding Hood? They're far too organized. What's your government's tag? Slam! The authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm. Hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Where'd they get that kind of cash? I fear La Cia may be involved. The CIA. La Cia. Oh, as the CIA. Know, the United States views Central America as its backyard. Even after Cuba. We've managed to maintain a delicate balance with the U.S. And your government can't just give them the boot. We are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar. Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can't maintain an army. I understand that you and your men have neither state nor ideology. That you will fight any foe. Please, you must drive them out of our defenseless country. We come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes, as our deterrent. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But, we can offer you this. A forward operating base. An offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds pretty a kind of me. mother base, if you will. This is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. The governments agreed to cooperate. Unofficially, of course. A chopper for transport would be nice, too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yeah, we're not mercenaries. We're different. That's what I've heard. For some reason. You're an army without a state. Yes, we're an army you can buy, but we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us. If your suspicions are true, force isn't gonna do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. No. I'm not here on their behalf. What? So, what oh. are you doing here? For over 20 years, I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities. Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. This is my student. She came to me to study peace. To study peace. Her name is Paz. 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 Ortega. Paz. 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 Peace. Ah, very subtle. Very good. Very Kojima. That's my name too, Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. Pleased to meet you, Paz. Call me Kaz. Kaz, Paz. Uh, they've got a supply port. Okay, awkward. Limon, a town in La Costa del Mar Caribe. 
a few days ago. Pass stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. She's only a child. Sixteen years old. They did terrible things to her. Okay. But somehow she managed to escape. What am I what am I zooming in on here? Oh, oh what the fuck? My god. She's Swifana. Her mother died when she was small. And she That's lost her grandparents in the civil war. Don't feel comfortable doing that. She Not gonna do that. War with a passion like no other. My name is Pass. And I will do anything to protect my namesake. It is my one and only purpose. Please, get them out of my country. Make them leave Costa Rica. Sorry, kid. We know who you are, big boss. That is why we've come to you. Are they not meant to know who I am? Were they calling me Snake before? Prologue. An army without borders. Oh, shit. Been snacking on corn. Right. Miller here. Do you copy, Snake? I see you've landed. That makes one giant leap for us. I'm sending this from the offshore plant, our mother base. The signal is unidirectional. Yes. I'll be giving you commands and advice through this channel. Keep your headphones on at all times and pay attention. Also, make sure no one else can listen in. Snake, are you clear on the controls? Take a minute to refresh your memory. Use the left stick to move. Use the right move stick to adjust your view. Can't move when I'm against the wall. To change your settings, use the start button to open the menu. Um try that out because it's like a quick turn, but I don't know if I'm gonna find that. Oh, yeah, I'm, I am gonna find that drawing. I'll just change that. Whatever. Seems like I've changed that and now it's stuck on character direction, so that's cool. Camera direction. Playa del Alba. Oh. snacks ready but we're already in the action so that's good straight in the action there's no one around why not try some shooting practice select a target and squeeze off a round or two press the directional buttons while holding the r2 button to switch weapons ready your weapon with the l1 button then press the r1 button to fire <sighs> what was that first How one he said a little shooting practice try hitting a coconut Look at this. Look at this weird ass handheld UI on my giant television. Surround oh, surround indicator. 
Ah, that's the radar up there. Select equipment by pressing the square or circle button while holding the L2 button. To check your map, press the start right, button to open the menu. Okay. What coconut is he talking about? Standard assault rifle, capable of rapid fire. Ah, right. Fuck auto aim. That's perfect. Oil drums, driftwood, buoys. There are plenty of targets around here. Right, there we go. That's it. Aim mode. Uh, aim mode is just slow, regardless. Then, okay. Keep that fast camera. Perfect. Fucking hell. Oh my god, a fish. Tell me I can't kill a fish. Big boss can't kill a fish. Shit game. Send it back. Turn that down one. Okay. That's right. Nicely done, boss. I want these coke uh <laughs> oh. Be like that YouTube man that's like back for blood is shit because you can't destroy everything. I can't even destroy this plank. This game sucks. I can't hop off this pier. This game sucks. The facility you're headed for is past that fence. Oh. A grenade should be able to take out that gate. Grenades explode. You throw them, snake. Use the L1 button to ready throwing weapons. Once you've ready the weapon. Throw with the R1 button. When using throwing weapons, hold the attack button down longer to throw farther. You won't throw the weapon until you let go of the button. Oh, this is a confusing UI. That's it. Boom. Shot everything in here. Nicely done, boss. Oh no, they're respawning. All right, screw them then. Hey, don't you think you can use a little more practice? Get off my case. You know shit about me, Master Miller. Two tranquilizer gun can put enemies to sleep. The closer to the head you hit, the more effective. I gotta thank you for agreeing to this snake. Man, am I glad to be out of here. Finally, we can leave all that crap in San Geronimo behind. Break into the mercenary business for real. Let me guess. You're doing it for her. For, for her. her. For her. The boss. Probably. Oh no, for a Paz. Are they still here? Come on, Snake. This could be good for us. 
They're willing to give us an offshore plant, a place we can finally put down some roots. This is our chance to expand MSF. We don't mm. need a place to stay, guys. We're nomads. We always will be. What? You'd rather keep wandering from conflict to conflict? Tools in the hands of whoever's fighting at the time? The second we settle down, who's to say we won't become the warmongers? Listen to me, Snake. We're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new kind of business. A war. Economy Look, business. It's not like we're trying to start a war here. All we need to do is find out who this security company really is. Come on, Kaz. It's pretty obvious that they're backed by the CIA. Wait a sec. That would mean... Our friend, the Professor, is likely KGB. I see. We'd be making an enemy of our homeland. I thought you had no, and there'd be no country. Back. Ah, this damn thing won't light. Huh? Put on some coffee, cuz. It's time for a little chat with the Professor. Nice. I was a heavy smoker. When I got my medal from the Secretary General, he gave me this prosthetic hand as well. But smoking was ruining my lungs, so I quit. I've not had much use for it since. CCCP, see? The legendary big boss. That's just a code name the CIA made up. Then perhaps I should call you John. <laughs> I don't have a name. You stopped using that code name you like so much ten years ago. What about you, comrade? What do they call you back at center? Well then, allow me to get straight to the point. <laughs> Land as slim as a whip, hot as torture. That's the Chilean poet, Neruda. Central America is the navel of the American continents, bridging north and south. Yeah. We want this land. It is in the center. We'll build a socialist stronghold, then use it to split the Americas in two. America would lose its backyard. And with it, its economic production, shipping lanes, and strategic value. We, on the other hand, would gain a base from which all of Latin America would be well within our reach. He who controls Central America will win this Cold War. First comes Nicaragua, toppling the pro-American Somoza regime. In preparation, We've begun instigating anti-Samosa sentiment and providing aid to the Sandinista National Liberation I could go for some Samosas. You're manipulating Sandinista into overthrowing Samosa for you. After the revolution, Nicaragua will become a socialist state. You think America's just gonna let that happen? Certainly not. After all, the CIA is already here. And that's the armed group inside Costa Rica. Precisely. It's clear that they've been sent in to disrupt our efforts across the border in Nicaragua. Simply put, the army now stationed in Costa Rica is CIA capital. But it's more complex than that. The CIA's got something else planned as well. What? That is the million dollar question. Big boss, we want you and your unit to find the answer. Infiltrate and investigate the facility in La Costa where Paz was imprisoned. Learn all you can of their operations. Then drive them out of the country. Huh. You're asking us to settle a turf war between the KGB and the CIA? What about her? That was all just an act? Hmm. You mean her words about peace? She was captured, that much is true. 
But I've kept my KGB affiliation from her. And you thought we'd fall for a sob story? No. I had good reason to bring her along. She's a clone. She got something in the DNA. She to escape with her yeah. life, but her friend was not so lucky. Why were they attacked? I believe this will help explain. Perhaps they saw something they weren't supposed to. Perhaps they heard something they shouldn't have. A cassette tape? Pass took this during her escape. She says her friend happened to record it by accident. What is that? A portable stereo oh cassette God. player. A Sony stereo cassette player Walkman. Ah, I heard they were working on something like that in Japan. Didn't know you guys were too. I believe what you're about to hear will help you understand. What is that? A Quetzal? The Phoenix Bird. Pass's friend was researching birds. She went out into the jungle to record bird calls and stumbled upon this. So? So what? Now it gets interesting. Voice print analysis confirms that this voice is indeed that of the legendary hero and criminal, the boss. What the heck? What? The other hasn't been identified. Female in her 30s with a British accent. The song playing in the background was a hit in 1973. What? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your mentor? Your mission or your beliefs? I... I am loyal to myself. Oz is alive in Costa Rica. As I understand it, she was your commander. Fought by... Mm, this is juicy. This is juicy. And that you killed her under orders from the CIA. Thus surpassing her to become the hero known as Big Boss. It's gotta be a trap. So you still can't turn your back on your country. Then I suppose you won't need this. He's got something in his finger. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> it's another lighter. Wait. A lighter in every finger. Snake? I'll do it for the girl. For Paz. Yeah, Bill. You're doing it for the boss. For peace, then. <laughs> this is just like in the, the Fast and the Furious film franchise, where you're led to believe that Letty has died, but actually, she is alive! Snake, you've got to get past them undetected. Avoid combat whenever possible. This is a stealth mission. This is a sneaking mission. Hide behind stuff. Take the long way around. Whatever it takes to stay out of sight. Your gun is a last resort. It could just as easily kill you as save you. Okay, let's see if I can hold this guy up. I don't know if it's that kind of Metal Gear game. Near the enemy to initiate close quarters combat. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well. Guess that's that then. 
Mm, not like that. Not oh, room, huh? shit. We'll keep it here at the base. Oh no! He got up because I tapped him too much. Oh, we're over there, look. Oh, no. Right, this is very typical Metal Gear experience. This is good. Oh, shit. Where is he? There he is, look. Just shoot around. Whoa, where'd you come from? <laughs> Fucking hell. Good. You shook him. They're still looking, though. Don't make it easy for them. The percentage in the upper right is your camo index. The lower the number, the more easily you'll be spotted. Conspicuous movements and loud noises will compromise your camo index. Your fatigues will act as camouflage. Keep your eye on what's left of your life gauge on the left of the screen. To the right of that, you'll see your sight gauge. Exhausting it will inhibit your actions. Your life gauge will recover with time. The sight gauge too. You'll recover faster crouching than standing up. Lying flat works even better. Mm. Make your way east. Okay, I've li I've lied down. And I've recovered my uh life and psych. And I'll now continue east. Because... That's what I'm going to explore a little bit first. Okay, I can go up things. Can, can, I, go, can I go up here? Yeah, I can go up here. I got rations. The He's asleep. The indicator in the upper right serves as a compass and shows sound sources. Pay attention to your surroundings. Oh, I'm the sound source. Oh, but it's all the little noise in the edge of the compass. That's cool. This is good. I like this. This is good. That guy is nearly fucking awake, so that's just uh <laughs> Sleep it off, buddy. Sleep it off. When you clear the jungle, you'll be there. Head east. I got rid of one of his Z's, look. Cool. All right. See you later, guys. Um, east. All right. What? Bob? I'm Bob. <laughs> uh, okay. It's just loading. It's just loading the screen. <sighs> Should have called myself Snake. Bob now breaks my immersion um, <laughs> every time I see it. Uh, ah, look at this. Very good. Can I get in here? No. I can do this. Can I aim? Can't aim around corners. You're inside the compound. Security is tight. Stay sharp. Hideo Kojima. Famous. Famous Hideo. I'm gonna wait for this guy to turn around and then shoot him in the head. him kind of near the head? Hmm. Not very precise. Shoot this guy in the head. There you go. He's down. This guy. Stun rod. Are you going to hear me if I... Handled. Oh. Why am I running out of 
bullets. God, there's another guy right there. What? But I can't aim around the can't can't aim around the corner. Oh, but I can tag him. Why am I not looking this way now? You're looking for a two-story building to the east. Yeah, I can fucking see it, man. Uh, they're not silenced. Doesn't look silenced. Where's my silencer gone? How has this happened? Oh, that's the big red bar. That was the silencer running out. Now I understand. <sighs> well, there's probably uh, that guy didn't hear, so it's fine. So we can just. Uh Objective is the building to Good looking PSP game, I think. Really good. I imagine they made the textures sharper and stuff, but. Yes, sir, we broke them. We acquired the whereabouts of Target 500. Zero. Spears are loaded. The barge is cleared, Point Bravo. Acknowledged. Al. Cook. Cook. <laughs> Oh, R1? Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't... Oh, yeah. Freeze. The cargo, where's it headed? Didn't know there was interactive <laughs> segments. Your suit. In the mountains. What's up there? Now I have to hold on to my controller for every cutscene. Yeah, get zapped. This meant to be the seventies. Huh? Am I gonna use my zoom in X-ray vision on him? No. Do you reserve that for the sixteen-year-old girls? The, is that a drone? Is the drone a girl? Hmm. Yeah, I prefer these cutscenes to like regular boring cutscenes, to be honest. Loud and clear. You found a radio. It's got a circuit that reverses the audio phase. Let's switch frequencies from time to time, just to make sure we're not detected. I found a map of their bases. The cargo's heading from the marshes west towards Irasu. Nice going, boss. Kaz, this place is full of film badges. Dozens of them. Film badges? Like the ones used to measure radiation exposure? On a suicide. The radio man was wearing one. And radio man. Too 
called the cargo spears. Wait, that would mean... Nukes. They're bringing nukes into Costa Rica. Nani? Holy mother of God. Directed by an <laughs> Oh, he loves himself a bit too much sometimes. Oh, it's a Metal Gear game. Black screen. Loading. Must have been a lot. Of, was there a lot of loading on PSP? Oh my goodness! That's the end of it. Stunrod, rank one. What does all this mean? Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> Kill zero alerts one. A. A! Cutscene interaction bonus 10 out of 10. I missed one though. Like, I definitely missed the first one because I didn't know that was a thing. Cool. Militaire sans frontier. Um. Great. I don't know what that means. Cool. I found a map, Snake. Think you can use it? Uh, it tells me where their bases are, but it's just a bunch of points. No routes. I need better intel on the lay of the land. Snake, the professor said he's got the Sandinistas on his side. Said you should get in touch with the FSL and Commandante. <laughs> Do they know they're backed by the KGB? Nah. As far as they know, they're really fighting for the revolution. The KGB is staying behind the scenes. I'm not sure the Sandinistas are aware of what's really going on. Still can't believe anybody would bring nukes here. Yeah, that's a shocker. Costa Rica's party to the Tlatel Loco Treaty, which declares Latin America a nuke-free zone. Based on Japan's three non-nuclear principles, it bans the testing, use, import, or deployment of nuclear weapons. If word of this gets out, Opinol will be forced to act. It'll cause an international uproar. The treaty was signed to prevent another Cuban Missile Crisis. If the U.S. itself is gonna scrap it... Latin America is too close to spawning another Cuba or two already. The entire continent would become one big powder keg. Well, if they did bring nukes, we can't let them get away with it. Are they planning a test? Showing off? Or is it all to keep the anti-American movement in check? Good question. Why bring them here? I can't figure it out. Whatever the CIA's up to in Costa Rica, the professor wants it stopped. We need to find out what that something is. We need to get ready first, Kaz. Repairs? Working as fast as we can, boss. This place is pretty beat. Looks like hell. But as long as you're with us, we'll make it heaven. No Some kind of here. No outer heaven. To do. Yeah. This is the MSF's haven, our mother base. And with this foothold, we'll back you up even better than before. We're gonna turn this pile of junk into something big. Welcome to Ms. Mother Base. Always can support your mission in many different ways, from developing new weapons to collecting intelligence. Uh. Uh. over there, look. Okay. What? Uh. Uh. Research and develop weapons and items for you staff roster. Yes. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Mother base is divided into several teams, including the combat unit, R&D team, and the waiting room. By dividing your staff between the teams and raising each team's level, you have to develop new weapons and items over time. That sounds good. So 
that auto assign to automatically assign stuff to teams according to their abilities. Okay, that kind of takes the whole game out of it. Recruiting talent and personnel to spend the talents with the right assignments is the key to expanding the base. Uh, sure. This concludes the tutorial. Okay. <laughs> um. So I got a bunch of dudes. I guess it is the seventies. Miller is unk, which probably means unique. He's got. A gimp of seven eight seven five. Skill descriptions. Mother base deputy to commander. All morale. Okay. What? Can't go up, down, left, right. Can't do anything on that. Okay. Help. Oh. Right. Abilities suited for combat, R&D, mess hall, medical, intel. Okay, that makes sense. Unk are special, not unique. POW, prisoners. Hi, trade. Normal staff, coal staff. Vol staff. Okay. Shoot, reload, throw. What? This is a lot of stuff to deal with. Hostility, sick, wounded, PTSD, and morale. Right, so Miller is better than these losers. Whose faces all look kind of auto-generated. Well, they did to start with, they all had the same... Imagine being called Cabbage White. Um... What's that icon? Morale. Um, what if I just uh, said auto assign? Yeah. Great. Good. Perfect. Don't need to worry about it. Just make the game do it. Yeah. Probably for the best. Okay, R and D. The mother base. You can develop new weapons and items for use in missions. This icon shows that you're able to start developing weapons 
and items. However, to do so, you will need the amount of gump funds. Be careful if you run out of gump, development may come to a halt. More powerful weapons and items make difficult missions much easier. This concludes the tutorial. What's in other? What's that? J fat, I guess. Jungle fatigues. Olive drab. Naked. Good for players who like raw, intense combat. I like how none of this was in the manual, and this is the most complicated bit of the game. So in order for rations to... In order for equipment... Okay. With my gump. But this is locked. Because I need a higher R&D team. Which makes sense. Aha. Uh -huh. So I can... Can get some stuff. So I've got Gump out of the wazoo, so I'm going to get this analyzer, even though I don't know what it is. Oh, a device that analyzes information about enemies when equipped it. Display various information about an invaluable tool. Okay. Likewise, oh, that's, wasn't there another thing that I could buy? Ration So what do I do about this? I just leave it Cancelling I don't want to cancel This is it This is That's all I got Okay. I can't... Ah! Weapons. A whole, a whole thing. Non-lethal rounds press durability has been increased. Yes. Use it to improve it? Is that how that works? Okay, cool. This is... This seems fun. Sure. Other? Nothing in there to... So we've got a weapon on the go. And we've got... Items on the go. So that's, that's that. That's versus. I don't want to do that. Let's go. Another mission. For, for Kaz and for Paz, that's what I say. Select the mission that you wish to participate in using the L1 and R1 buttons. You can play co-ops missions, blah blah blah. The current maximum number of... What the fuck? Oh, so it's not that. Okay, this, this is confusing, but that's all. So this is main ops, extra ops. Co-ops don't care, cutscenes, who cares. Zero out of one mean, oh, people? Okay, whatever. Opening. Okay, what's this extra ops? Use the full ton recovery to retrieve the radio soldier. Kill the radio soldier was an instant mission fa failure. Yeah, that sounds fun. Shall I do that? The boss has infiltrated the area around the coastal supply facility and knocked out the soldier there. But we can't just leave him there to be found. I need you to get in there and capture the unconscious soldier using the Fulton recovery system. Do it quickly before he comes to. 
Sure, sounds like a tutorial. Choose briefing files to review the radio mission. Be main mission prep. Ah. Ooh. Nah. Snake, you can use the Fulton surface to air recovery system to send prisoners and unconscious mercenaries you encounter back to Mother Base. I know you've used the Fulton before, but nope. just to make sure I'm not missing anything, let's review the steps. Okay. First, attach a balloon to the unconscious enemy or captured prisoner. Right. I hook a wire to their waist, and on the other end of the wire, there's a helium balloon. Right. <laughs> then we'll send over a chopper to catch the floating balloon with its recovery hook and reel it up into its cargo hold. And that's it? And that's it. We finished installing the recovery hook on the Huey. Wait, cuz. Something doesn't make sense about this whole process. Uh, this again? Well, normally, Fulton recovery is for when you're using fixed-wing aircraft. With a helicopter, isn't it simpler to land and pick up directly? Listen, Snake. You're going to be calling for recoveries repeatedly throughout your mission. We want to keep the risk of taking enemy fire to a minimum. The best way to get that done is to do the recovery in a high-speed flyby. That's what the Fulton surface-to-air recovery system is for. Uh-huh. What's the real reason? Helicopters are cheaper, and the repairs hey. will start adding up once the bullets start flying. Uh, I <laughs> thought so. Cause I know we need to keep costs down, but... Boss, you really need to get rid of this whole army mentality. We're not the Pentagon. We don't have billions of taxpayer dollars to play with. And besides... Fine, fine. Just pick a reason that makes sense. Helicopters have quicker response time. Sounds strange, yeah, yeah, but it works great. I promise. You'll get used to it before long. Yeah, I hope so. That's what Kaz says. What about Paz? The mercenary supply base is situated on elevated ground by the coast. I heard them call it Puerto del Alba, Port of Dawn. They have perfect visibility of the area from up there. We did our best to sneak in undetected, but... One of the guards spotted us and we... What is it? I'm what sorry. Was... You'll have right. to ask Professor Galvez the Oh, that's, what okay. that's the original story. You've been through a lot. I am sorry. I... I just cannot. You did great, Paz. I won't let your efforts go wasted. Mm. As is tape. Number of warheads thing. detected by the dew line, 57. Number of MIRVs included, minimum 29, maximum 35. Target region, United States, East Coast. Estimated time of re-entry, 2048 Zulu. President selected attack option, unknown. The president is dead? Unknown. Communication has been lost. I select Offutt Air Force Base as my target. Offutt? But that's a U.S. base. What on earth do you mean? Based on the projected number of incoming warheads, Washington, D.C. is presumed destroyed. The president is most likely dead. The U.S. government's control lost. I realize that. So why not retaliate? With both sides destroyed, global anarchy would ensue. Recovery would be... difficult. The United States nuclear strike capability must therefore be neutralized in order to preserve the communist bloc where government remains largely intact. What is happening? I don't understand what's going on. You can't be serious. Tell me, how do you define enemy? There are no borders in this world. The same conclusion again and again. Where is the flaw? All right, let's try something else. Commencing test. Understood. You're crossing a suspension bridge. Is this my mission? Yes, your destination is the other side. The bridge is wide enough for only one person to pass at a time. A man is approaching from the opposite side. He's carrying a gun. I shoot him. Suppose he's your husband. I shoot, I shoot him. him. In yeah, very good. To spare him the grief. One must die, and one must live. Next question. Your father asks you to fix the roof and mow the lawn. I shoot when him. When you climb the ladder onto the roof, the ladder is taken away. I fix the roof. And when you're finished? I jump down. You'll break more than bones at this height. I see no need to change my decision. I have not finished mowing the lawn. 
I must remain loyal to the mission. Next. This is some weird shit. There's a snake in the bushes. It is poisonous. I need you to get rid of it. I chase it back to its nest. You can't. The snake's too vicious. It's already killed many people. I chase it away. It will bite you unless you kill it. Go home. Kill me. Kill me now. Why not kill the snake? Your mission is to get rid of it. Is this what you call loyalty? What are you loyal to? Country? Ideology? Feelings? I... I... I am loyal to myself. Who's there? <gasps> Who's that? Intruder! What the fuck? Huh. Alright, just a shitload of... Alright, yeah, we're not... Alright, how do I, how do I, how do I get out? Back. Right, okay. Well, we won't dive into them because that'll take forever. Mission prep. I will take my. Oh, he's got loads of uniforms. But do I have these? Survival. Love box. <laughs> Where did I get all this stuff from? I don't think I had anything yet. Why not? Oh, I can just play as any old fucking guy. Mm. And I guess it's harder with those losers. game all of a sudden. So if I go as alligator, it's just some guy, and he's just in his regulars, but I can put him in tree bark, and I can give him all this stuff as well. He can have some tea, he can have a camera, he can have Alligator. Let's play as alligator. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? No idea what I'm doing. Right, there's the target. Use Fulton Recovery to bring back knocked out soldiers. To use Fulton Recovery on a soldier. Get up next to them so the icon appears and push the action button. We've got three you minutes. Probably climb that if you had someone to lend you a hand. All right. Realized 
don't have my uh, my radar on. Fuck. Hurry up and send those knocked out soldiers back here. Don't mess around or they're gonna wake up. We're under attack! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Run for it. It's either that or take out every last enemy soldier. It's the enemy. Send reinforcements. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements now. Okay. You're done with that area. Head for the goal. Somebody there. Bolton oh. recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. What do I do now? Bolton recovery helicopter is complete. Great, don't worry about it. See you later. Well, that was fun. You did it. Keep it up. Now I get to leave. Whee! <laughs> uh, okay. Now does alligator level up or what? B. B for bad. Can I do that again? A personnel report has arrived. Return to Mother Base to receive reports. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, staff. Duck hose. Let's just auto assign him. Yeah, just fucking go in. I don't. I don't know. You know. And then, uh, R&D. Great. How do I develop the hobby magazine? I do that mission again until I get it like an S rank or something and and and, and can I yeah okay the boss has infiltrated the air mission prep so can I just send like who's the worst moon Ras. Alright, this guy sucks, so let's send him. And then we'll send the analyzer. Because that's important. And he's got the empty mag. And he's got the level two 
Why would I level it down? Why would I do that? Is there a reason to do that? Just for the fuck of it? What if I put him in pink? Just, that'll get him. Whatever, Moonrass. Right. We're going to send Moonrass on this mission. And we're going to do it right this time. And he's going to feel great about it. Because he'll be like, yeah, I did a mission. I'm really good. I'm helping out the, the base and all that stuff. Use Fulton Recovery to bring back knocked out soldiers. To use Fulton Recovery on a soldier, get up next to them so the icon appears. And push the action button. Oh, wow. Okay, don't have to use that. You could probably climb that if you had someone to lend you a hand. Yeah, yeah. Now, what about if I do a little, out soldiers back here. a little bit of this? Or they're gonna wake up. Uh, he's not bothered about that. See you later. Mission complete. The folks back at Mother Base will be thrilled. Monkey, monkey ass, or whatever his name is, did it. With only one extra, you know. Great. A, alert phases, zero, uh, all that stuff. Could I just keep doing this and get loads of soldiers and then fill up the base? New members joined. Some fish and iguana. Spare. It sure seems like I could just play that mission over and over again until well, I don't know. The boss is in. He 
now he's not that much not that much better to be honest um but we send in oryx with all that stuff and then uh Do I have anything better for concrete? No. So may as well just stick with... with what I got. Oryx is a reckless guy. He's very reckless. Use Fulton Recovery to bring back knocked out soldiers. To use Fulton Recovery on a soldier, get up next to them so the icon appears and push the action button. Like that soldier's out cold. Try using Fulton recovery on him. Okay, you're done with that area. Head for the goal. There you go. Yeah, right, easy peasy. Great job, um, tiny possum, or whatever your name is. Peace Walker. S. See, it was real quick. S rank. Okay, let's do a real mission next, but you know, that's fun fun feature. So a bit of increases the experience from the mission. Yeah. Uh staff. Snail sailfish. Auto assign. He seems good at R and D. Ah, uh, you can just get rid of guys. So I assume if I auto assign, he will end up in R and D. Yeah, there he is. Look, selfish. He's great at R and D. He wears glasses. Great. And then we go here, and these things are thirty-three, thirty-one. Okay, this was fun. I, I get it. If I wasn't streaming, I'd probably do that mission like three more times just to... It seems like I can just farm this. Um, but uh, let's let's do a let's do a main op. Snake, I rigged that radio so you can contact our young lady friend Pass. Is she okay? No need to worry. She's tougher than you think. Still just a kid. Which is exactly why she could be an effective source of information. Besides, that little Angel de la Paz is the one who gave us this mission, right? Uh, I guess. I'll put her on. She can give us vital hey, intel. Hey, What's Paz. dabbing? Where are you? Ciudad Colón. A school. The teacher told me to stay here until things quiet down. Teacher? Oh, him. He's... Yeah, that's probably good advice. See. Si. He has a radio in his room, so we can talk anytime. Oh, pretty fancy for a teacher. Promise me, Snake, that you'll bring back peace and... I know. I'll contact you if I find your friend. And you will walk. Thank you you will become... Snake. The Peace Walker. You know about Costa Rica. The geography, the climate, the wildlife, anything. Just ask me. I know about its history and laws, too. 
We learned it all in school. Got it. I have a question I'll ask. I, uh... What? In school. I also learned that peace is an unnatural state for human society. And that war is a constant threat to our relationships with others. That's I learned about, like, the so, fucking... To achieve peace... Pythagoras. We created ourselves. Crying about it won't bring it about. Theorem. Make it last. Each one of us must go and seek it out. A squared without making sacrifices. equals B squared plus C no squared. Sense, but I don't know what peace is. Squ square root. What it's like. Yeah. Never even been interested in it. Snake. Oh, sorry. Listen, Paz. I think your ideas are admirable, and I hope they turn out to be right. Yeah. Well, me too. She's wrong. This is in your name. Who better to help bring it back? Because I'm just for the war economy, so. Snake, use your radio to call people, but stay alert. You're in the middle of a mission and can't afford to let your guard down. Got it. Mm. Need to know more about Costa Rica? Haas can help you out. Got it. No. We'll follow their transport route. This should take us straight to their main base. From what I've seen, it looks like nukes. Agreed. The key thing now is to confirm whether those spears really are what we think they are, and if so, why they're here. Follow the transport route. Find the nukes. That's what I'm thinking. First, we should make contact with the Sandinista Commandante. They can tell us more about what's up ahead. But it looks like their hideouts already come under attack. Hmm. We better hope they're still alive. Snake, infiltrate that cabin and secure the Sandinista's Commandante. Neutralize any guards by knocking them out, putting them to sleep, or even using the Fulton recovery system. I'm gonna recover all these motherfuckers. I'm gonna recover everyone. Right, got the Fulton, got the stuff. Got my empty mags. Got my... Analyzer that I don't understand. Got my love bot. Fulton system. Got my camera. Can't play as anyone but Snake. Don't know what I'm getting into. Oh, a lot of. Ugh. Don't really want to have to listen to all of it. Um. Looks like we're in a jungle, so I'll wear the I'll wear my jungle thing. Let's go in. Chapter one: A country without an army. SLN Boathouse. It's northwest of there. You can use the radio you just picked up by pressing the start button to open the menu window. You know you can assign the radio to the select button by choosing options from the menu window. Oh, yeah, I should do that then because it's got auto aim on a different button as well. This is Miller, hearing you loud and clear. You know you can assign the boathouses to the east, the boathouses to... You are doing great, Snake! Peace! As. Press the attack button, the boathouses to the east. Great. Head eastward.
Very good. See ya. <laughs> Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. <laughs> zap, 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 zip, zip, zap. I'm gonna keep zapping. Recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. I don't know what any of this means. Oh, I should have tested it on them. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. What does that mean? That oh. area is not part of the mission. That area is not part of the mission. What is it? Like accessible later or something? I'm Am I on this map? I don't know what the fuck is going on. So are the different areas reused in different missions, I guess. Wait, there was a No idea. A lot of the streamlining they've done for, uh, you know, making it portable is just making it better <laughs> for me. And it had a tutorial at the start. Uh, yeah. Now I can't tell where anyone is. Oh. Can I blow that up? That's what the first mission taught me. No. So that beach thing wasn't teaching me to blow up every uh, gate that I see. It was just... It was just a one-time thing, I guess. Who knows? Now where am I? Oh, there's a guy, look. Uh, two guys. Classic two guy scenario. Oh, you know what? I never put, um... Any, uh... Smoke grenades in. Alright, let's just throw this all the way over there. See if that gets anyone. Oh, fuck knows. Huh. I heard something. Yeah, you heard something. They're gonna come take a look. Now they seem to be kind of blind as a bat, which is good for me. See you later. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Huh. I what was that? They know someone's there. They'll be coming to check it out. Can't be imagining things. Can't be imagining things. You better go check it out, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oops. I, I meant to do this. So, see you later. Alright, this game's better than MGS4. This is way better. Um... Cool. Cool. Well, no reason to hang around here. Rio del Jade? I don't know how to pronounce Spanish. The boathouse should be close by. Neutralize the security detail and make contact with the Comandante. How am I gonna... See, this is, like... MGS4 was missing all this stuff. This is this is the puzzle box, right? This is like, oh, how do I take these guys out without alerting each other and all that shit? That's, that's Metal Gear, that's fun. If I just fucking shoot this guy... Nobody sees. But then that guy's gonna see. What was that? Enemies close by. See if I can see me. Bullshit. They spotted you. Get out of there. Enemy sighted. Requesting backup. Negative. We can't spare reinforcements. You'll have to make do with what you have. Great. <laughs> um. They heard you. They're gonna come take a look. Just seeing things. Ultra recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Huh? What was that noise? They know someone's there. They'll be coming to check it out. Trying to grab. There we go. Look. Start talking. Huh? Start talking. Start talking. Huh? Start talking. Huh? Oh, I'm out of Fultons. Yeah. 
want to hear? Start talking. Huh? Someone attacking? Where's the item? Huh? Enemies, enemies attacking. Go, 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 go. You've been spotted. Run for it. It's either that or take out every last enemy soldier. What's going on over there? Enemy sighted. Engaging now. Understood. Eliminate all hostiles. Can't, can't climb over there. Good. You shook them. They're still looking, though. Don't make it easy for them. Good. Now meet with the FSLN Commandante. He's inside the boathouse. Scanning. Huh? God damn it. Yeah, mission complete. All right. Stay away! Don't touch me! Get away! Guinness, the chest. No way. What do we do? Sandinistas, right? I'm looking for someone. Mi viejo! Shh! He's dead. They killed nuestro viejo. You're his daughter. Then that makes you his delegado, right? Relax, I'm not your enemy. Cuban. Mm -hmm. A cigar? I'll take whatever you've got. I owe you one, but I prefer cigarettes, you know. Why'd I waste a cigar on you then, Amanda? Oh, I look, a little like El Che, no? You Cubano? Mm, Colombiano, a photographer. I came to Costa Rica to take pictures of birds. Yeah, right. Birds. Yeah, uh, Quetzals. You've got no telephoto lens. How do you get your shots? Telephotos for amateurs. It's all in the timing. Oh, let me smoke okay. too. We can talk until I finish hmm. this. Chico! Tell me what's going on here. This place is crawling with soldiers. <laughs> they don't like little guy. security. More like hired guns. They're loaded with the latest gear from all over the world. I heard they're a security force hired by Codessa. Uh, yeah, and I'm Papa Noel. Those guys are UCLA's. UCLA's? La Cia. I saw them setting up shop in town. They're planning to do here what they did in Chile. If that's the case, what are they after? Whatever it is, it's not us. You don't think they're here to push you back into Nicaragua? Impossible. Too much hardware. Too many bases. Didn't you see? They've got helicopters, tanks. It's like we're in Da Nang. There must be something else. They have a base near here. There's a factory to the north, across a suspension bridge. Factory to the north, across a bridge. Have you seen the big transport boat, mercenary crew, on the Rio del Jade? You mean the boat? It's upstream from here. Up toward Yasu. Hmm. Any idea what's on it? I could introduce you to some of our compas up there, but I don't recommend going to the mountains. We've lost a lot of people there. They take us captive, torture us for information about our compas, and then they kill us like pigs. Got it! All right! This was our last hideout, the final refuge for El Frente, after being pushed out of Nicaragua and into this peaceful paradise of Costa Rica. Then, El Monstruo attacked. A monster? In mi viejo. <laughs> mi viejo, papá, he was la esperanza, our hope. Now that Papa's gone, my sister's like Commandant de la Revolución. Do not listen to him. Papa was a hero who fought by Sandino's side. I am only his daughter. You need a special talent to become cacique. It takes someone great to unite all of Las Compas. Sorry to interrupt, but leaders don't choose themselves. Neither do heroes. 
you carry on his legacy of La Esperanza, and they'll follow you, no question. You think so? My compas trust me, but not one of them calls me Comandante. Amanda! <laughs> See what I mean? Commandante. Oh no, not Calibri. Nani? Yeah, what the fuck? What is the- oh shit. Oh no. Oh god. Bada 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 bada. What? What? Missed that one. Oh, come on. What the hell? It's a robot yeah, what the hell? An unmanned weapon. A robot. A robot. Oh no, he's been he's been taken by the balloon. Out of my way. Better for him to die at the hand of a compa and suffer their torture. Stay here. As long as I'm still alive, I might as well be here. Over here! Find Chico! I can't believe they had drones in the 70s. Powered by floppy disks or whatever. Cool! Mission was a bit short, if I'm honest. Two alert phases. C. C. C is bad. Don't know how heroism works. Uh, got a bunch of guys with a Fulton, though. What was that thing? Yeah. Whatever it was, it looked unmanned. Unmanned? I'd heard rumors, but an operational unit? What the hell is going on here? Not to quote Amanda, but the hardware they've got here isn't just unusual. It's overkill, which means one thing. It's nukes. So the question now becomes, why? We can't make that call yet. Varum! More intel. How? Our source is dead. But his daughter isn't. Good thinking. We can follow her. Head for the next outpost and make contact with Amanda if she's still alive. Roger. Yes, daughters do know things that their fathers know. Mother base. Let's do our. Uh, you play a bit of. You play a bit of Metal Gear. You play a bit of Cookie Clicker. You know you do. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Yeah. All right, lobster, skipjack tuna, big tuna, oryx. Okay, staff can't be bothered to assign. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know what I could do is I could just look at it. Do any of these guys have, like, he's pretty good at R&D as well. There isn't a mess hall 
section unit. So I could send Miller to R&D. And now the R&D unit's better because it's got more guy in it. I don't even know what the combat unit does. Alright, we'll keep we'll keep Miller in R and D for now. What is it? Large caliber combat pistol. Mm. Maximum of a hundred people. That's what we want. And then I've got gump to spare, so I may as well spend it on the Pistol, which I'm sure will be useful at some point. But if I so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day here. I just wanna look at the thing, see if I can Oh no, I started researching um right. So if I recall, I started researching smoke grenades, but I didn't finish researching them. So it should be on 66 now. No, because it would show me. Now I've got them. Oh, it must have finished then. God, it looks like ass, doesn't it? Alright, cool. So that means that next time I can put stuff on it. So that's good. Alright. Has it saved? Save. Right, we're going to save, going to call it a day. This game is fun. I like it so far. Um, apart from the weird uh, perving on a 16 year old and implied sexual assault um, angle. That's bad. But into the action, has a tutorial, gameplay is much more Metal Gear than Metal Gear Solid 4, uh, gotta catch them all is fun with the Fulton, um, so yeah, enjoying this so far, so good shout, good shout Patrick, alright, going to uh, log off then, <sighs> see you later alligator, and Moonrass and the rest of them. I guess.